Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Dustin. Welcome back to another video. Happy Thursday, happy Friday. If you happen to be new here, Collective, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Please take a minute, like the video, share the videos, subscribe to the channel. I say videos because there's other videos that you can go watch from this particular channel. Happy birthday, Gemini, celebrating your birthdays today. Happy Gemini season collective i have another message for us today make sure that you know make sure that you're not letting nothing hold you back i don't care what you go through what kind of challenges obstacles come up against you i am living proof literally living proof that god is real baby and you got people around you that are living witnesses to your being living proof <laughs> That God is real. Okay? Everything that was meant to destroy you, kill you, stop you, block you, has been thrown at you at some point in your life. Or it's currently going, it's happening right now. You could have been born in 1978. I'm also picking up on 1988. I'm picking up on Aries energy. You could have Aries significant, significantly aspected in your chart. Yes, collective. Go we'll look at some of the most famous people or the most, go we'll look at some of the most historic people, okay? They have, they have they have stories of how they survived things or they overcame things, obstacles, challenges that was simply meant to destroy them, to stop them or to block them, okay? Some of your favorite actresses and actors, politicians, inventors, athletes, they've had to overcome some of the most horrendous situations or they overcame them or they're going or they're they're going to overcome them okay collective so just know that you're not alone we're not alone we're in this thing together opening up the month of june yeah i'm picking up on syracuse new york okay staten island yes we're together in this we're in we're in this together there are some infiltrators that are definitely in the enemy's camp you got some enemies that have some infiltrators in their camp. You've had some people that infiltrated your camp, okay? That's normal. I, I hate to say that it's normal, but it does happen, and it has happened. You know, obstacles and challenges, once again, you know, that is just part of life, okay? We're going to get through it together. You know, no weapon formed against us. It's not going to work. It's not going to prosper. I see 58, 58. You know, God, God did not say that the weapons wouldn't form. God said they they wouldn't prosper 58 58 god is showing me 5 8 5 8 8 8 you're going through some financial changes <sighs> the next 38 to 39 days that could be a non-factor okay it could be less of an issue for you or it won't be as a big of a factor or issue for you okay 5 8 5 8 8 8 that's manifesting <laughs> Wow, 585888, eight, 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 simply, simply in simple terms. You're going through some financial changes at this time, or you're going through some changes related to your overall abundance, stability, foundation here on the earth. Or you will be. And God is using us, readers and other messengers, in other ways in which he does things to get the message out, to let us know that we're going to be okay, collective. Some of us will be multimillionaires, millionaires, substantially wealthy. 250,000 could be coming in. 100,000, 50,000, 80,000. I don't know, but there's money coming in. 585888. There's some changes going on to your prosperity, your abundance, and your wealth. And it's going to be all good. 8888. That's money, baby. Congratulations on your future success, your current success, and all your success. Please give back to the less fortunate. Help out. Go back and help people in your community. You don't even have to go do it. With this type of money that's coming in for the collective, we can send people to do it. As long as we put our heart and our intentions to go help, we will we will be accomplishing or further accomplishing the mission has God has for us. Okay? 585888 eight, eight, eight is simply saying, baby, that you're going through some financial changes or you're going through some changes related to your abundance and prosperity here on the earth and you're going to be coming out clean, period 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 i see june the 5th june the 6th june the 18th june the 19th june the 6th 
something something significant could have happened something significant could have happened in the month of yeah you could have something significant could have happened in the year 2006 2006 is coming through you could drive a land rover okay range rover land rover or something like that or mercedes benz i'm picking up on that type of energy here mm -hmm. yes 2011 the year 2011 could have been significant for you Two one one two one one two one one five eight eight five eight 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 eight. God wants us to know that He's always been with us. How you think you made that happen, or how you think it's happening? Because God has made it happen, or He's assisting you and helping you make it happen. You're not by yourself. You got guardian angels, ancestors, divine ancestors, spiritual powerhouses, making sure that you get what you gotta get here. It's not that. It's not like. It's not like um. It's kind of like you didn't have a choice here because other people need to be assisted by you. When you, when God bless you, he know you're the type of person that's going to go out there and do what he want you to do with it, okay? You're not going to selfishly hold or, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be selfish about the blessings that he gives you. That's why he gives you the blessings. There's certain things that he gives to the, he gives the collective because he knows the collective is going to go out there and do the right thing with it, okay? Period. You could be starting a business, okay? God could be, um... Making sure that you get some money to start a business. I'm here in a restaurant, okay, an online boutique, um, whatever, okay. But I feel like God, God is use, utilizing the collective to get resources, tangible things, physical things, spiritual things out into the world, spiritual messages, okay. Mm. It's like when His people are in the optimum energies or at at their optimum level, optimum level. We can utilize those abilities that he gives us and talents and resources to the best ability to get out there and help other people because ultimately that's what it's about, collective. When you see 585888211, God is saying, hey, I'm releasing these resources. I'm releasing these things to you because I know you are the right one that's going to go out there and release it to the people that need it. Hurricane season is upon us. <sighs> okay. Make sure that you have the supplies. Or make sure you start to pick up the little stuff. Okay, collective. Make sure because that's going to be critical here. Yeah, I think I think it could be a situation in which we should be prepared. Okay, we don't know what kind of natural disasters that could still strike in the year 2023. So God is also saying, he's also saying 58, 58, 211. Okay, I'm releasing you resources. I want you to be prepared. Get your family prepared. Okay, go do the things that I need you to take care of for your family to make sure your family okay. Point blank, period. Period. You could have been born February the 5th. Also May the 5th. Okay, Taurus, Aquarius energy. I also have uh, Scorpio energy. I have Leo energy. Virgo energy. You got to understand, we got to be prepared. You know, I'm picking up on, you know, Pharaoh. I see August the 13th. That's Leo, baby. 813. There's that 8. There's that 1. There's that 3. God is funny. He has a sense of humor. He said, hey, Stacy, I'm here. I'm literally uh, getting ready to release these funds for the collective. I want the collective to make sure that they go take care of their families, store up. We can't see what is coming, but God can see what is coming. I'm picking up on the Pharaoh. Okay. I believe it was Joseph. Joseph had an amazing, you know, his brothers hated him. Go read the book of Joseph or it's in the Bible. Okay. Joseph had 12 brothers. His his father favored him. He loved Joseph. I mean, hey, I'm not going to say whether I agree or I disagree, but, you know, he was favored. And his brothers were jealous. They hated him. But nonetheless, there were certain abilities and gifts that only God could give Joseph. And he chose Joseph, period. And, okay, you know, he went through hell. His brothers pretty much threw him away. And, you know, you know the story of what happened to Joseph. He was sold into slavery. But the man that got Joseph and bought Joseph took him to Egypt and, you know, he pretty much put him in a high position in his, in authority of in his house. And, you know, there was a female, there's a karmic that came along. She wanted to sleep with Joseph. Joseph didn't want to sleep with her. She got him in trouble. They throw Joseph in prison. You know the story. But nonetheless, Joseph had the, the, prof, the prophetic gift of dreams. So he was able to see things. God gave him visions. He was able to, to interpret dreams as well. So, you know, we got to look at, you know, the devil, the devil, he sets these traps for us, but God has the blessing. So although Joseph was thrown into slavery basically left to, left for dead by his brothers there was a, a there was a man in high position that came along and got him put him in a put him in a pretty substantial position in his house 
And the woman of the house caused more trouble for Joseph, which landed him in prison. But God was there too. God was there. He was there. He put Joseph in prison with two two very important people that was able to get messages back to the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh essentially is the king of the whole country, right? So Joseph was in prison with these two people. I believe one was a cook and one was like a cup burial. Cup, cup, cup burial. Or, you know, he bears the cup for the king. He holds the cup for the king or the prince. You know how that go. Yes, they wanted to bury Joseph, essentially. Okay? So one of these guys had a dream. But he couldn't get, he didn't, no one could interpret the dream. But Joseph was in prison with him and he knew. And so the guy was intrigued by that. He was like, whoa. So Joseph said, hey, remember me when you get out. Remember? And so the guy said, you know, I'm, I'm going to let the Pharaoh know about you. So the word got back to the Pharaoh about the gift and the ability that God gave Joseph. And the Pharaoh had a terrible dream and he's, he was scared and no one could interpret the dream. But Joseph, the guy remembered Joseph. He was like, hey, I was in prison with this guy. And, and they called for him. Okay. Essentially. And he was able to interpret, Joseph was able to interpret the dream that the Pharaoh had. Essentially, God was telling the Pharaoh that there was going to be seven hard years and there was going to be seven good years. Store up, okay? Store up for the seven horrible years that's to come. So that's essentially what Joseph informed the Pharaoh. And that's essentially what I'm informing you today. 5858-8821, God is saying, I need you to store up. There could be seven good years. Seven horrible years or seven years of leanness. Okay, we gotta be, we gotta be prepared for these type of things. God is saying, hey, I'm releasing certain blessings, but I want you to be prepared with this. Don't just be reckless. Store up. Go help some other family store up. You could live to be 102. You could also get 102,000. Okay, over 100k thousand. I see 250,000, 100k. I see God is showing me two, 200,000, 100,000 or better here period. He's also saying, go help another family store up. Go help them store up. Okay? But he definitely wants us to take care, take care of our families. You could be Native American, Spanish. Yes. Joseph had a powerful favor of God, baby. If God be for you, who could be against you? Look what his whole, his whole life they tried to destroy him. And the very people that tried to destroy him, God used to come back to him. God will use your enemies to have to face you or to have to need you. You got to be careful how you treat people. We got to be careful how we treat people. The very face that you try to step on today may be the very face that you see in the bank tomorrow when you need to get a loan to pay your mortgage or to pay your car off or something like that. Be careful. You got to be careful how you treat people. You got to be careful. I'm thinking about that story collective. This one lady, she was rushing to get in a parking space. And, and, and the lady was trying to get in the space, but the lady said, you know what? I let her have it. She let her have it. She let her have the parking space. She went on about her business. She went up to her office and the lady, the very lady that basically essentially bullied her for the parking space had to come up and face her because she was the one that was going to interview her. Karma is real. You really have to be careful how you treat people collectively. I think we know that already. We know, but hey, there may be some people in the back that may need to hear that. The very, the very person that you step on today, it may be the very person that you need tomorrow, or that your son may need in the future, or your daughter may need in the future. We don't know how, how, how it's all going to play out. We don't need to know. We just, we just know that when we're doing right, it's going to work out. And whether it don't work, whether or not it whether or not it doesn't work out the way we want it to work out doesn't mean that it's not going to work out because it's still going to work out the way it's supposed to work out and anybody that hurts the collective um they should be on high alert <laughs> and very scared and very worried because you don't know how god is going to allow things to play out okay god is saying store up for the bad years that may come or the lean season that may happen Okay, and also go, go back and help other people be able to do that if you're able to. Okay, yeah, God is saying, he's saying utilize the resources that you have right now to go do something nice for someone else. And you may not have no money in your pocket. You can go say, hey, how you doing to someone? I hope you're having a good day, babe. Okay, things may not be going so well, but I, I, I pray it gets better for you. You don't have to have no money to do that collective, okay? I want to take some cards and see what's going on with the energies further let's see some more energies here let's pick up on some more energies the ace of coins 
<laughs> I'm smiling as I say that because it's pretty much tying into my message. The Ace of Coins. Money is coming in. Resources, abilities. And you need to store up, stack up, and help others. You don't have to, but it, it's, it's advisable to. People that had counted you out. Mm -hmm. There are going to be people that had counted you out that's going to need you. Okay, you got to be careful with that. We got to be careful with that too, collective, because God will test us. He'll test us with that. He said, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. I know that could be difficult. I know you want to, like like she did on the color purple, She, you want to spit in her water. I know you do. I know you want to give them a little chocolate pie. I know you do. Okay? But we're going to be tested. <laughs> I'm picking up on that movie. You know when she made that, that lady that pie. But, um, Yeah. <laughs> We're being tested with how we be careful with that. He may send people back around that hurt you or betray you and see how you handle it. Okay. He knows our hearts and we gotta we gotta come to we gotta come to terms with that within ourselves. I think the collective man, we don't hold no heart, we don't hold no hatred. We don't hold no hatred. I forgive you for everything you've done to me. I'll do my best to um, you know be kind to you although i may want to choke you i'll still be respectful and i'll still cherry cherry i'll still champion on okay i'm still gonna champion on okay so that's part of our test too there could be a male that's ready to get married ready to settle down ready for all those wonderful things and that is a part of our inheritance as well but please use discretion and be discerning that could be a test too people that definitely hurt us could be trying to sneak their way back in. We got to be able to see through the plots and the schemes of that as well, collective. Period. It's about the abundance. It's about the inheritance. It's about the gifts and the abilities. And it's just about the collective being chosen. Okay. The Ten of Coins, the Ace of Coins, and the Queen of Wands. I see a very self-sufficient, um, independent woman here that deserves love. And I also see a very self-sufficient, independent man that's taking all that with him and bringing it to another woman point play period that's life that's life okay i see the two of coins the six of coins god says i got you the six of coins the two of coins god says i got you multi-millionaire here i just see the energies here and there's a man there's a woman that's specifically made for you for you collective for you okay he could have left someone or he's bound to eventually she's bound to it's just part of it they're meant to be for you something significant could have happened at the age of 36 okay you could have got married at 36 36 6 7 8 9 wow you have someone that's meant to be for you it looks like he's coming to a close of something or there's cycle changes that are currently happening for that individual today as you watch this message collective or her the six of coins the six of coins so God is saying he's balancing the scores. He's helping this particular person that's meant to be for you, collective. Uh, he's helping this person financially, emotionally, and um, in every other way. I feel like it feels like this person is healed or it feels like this person is financially. They got the bank, baby. They, they're, they're, finan they're meant to be for you. This person, um, he's financially okay. She's financially okay. Or they're going to be. They are being spiritually guided, okay? You are being spiritually guided. Oh, there's Archangel Michael. I feel like Archangel Michael sees us as his little kids. Can you imagine? You're, you're saying I'm 40 and 50 years old, but not to Archangel Michael. It's like we're his babies, <laughs> okay? Yes. I feel like Michael is watching over this person that's meant to be for you. He's watching over him. Period. Mm -hmm. There's Michael. He's hanging back in the energies. There's some toxic shit going on with him and someone else that looks like it's came to a close or it will come to a close at some point. The collective is coming up as the Ten of Coins, the Ace of Coins, the Six of Coins, the Two of Coins. We have a divinity and a mission and a purpose that God has us to do here on the earth. Part of that is having resources. Period. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, you, you could be in your uh, Queen of Cups, very loving type of nurturing energy. There's a male that's in his Queen of Cups energy over you. He feels some type of way about you. He has a spiritual team. He's deeply emotional. He's he, he. What's going on with this man? It, it, it's just giving me some emotional ups and downs due to a bad breakup or a connection that he has associations with or he has some associations with or her. Take the reading how it resonates, okay? Take the reading how it resonates. 
the seven of coins, the five, <laughs> the five of coins, the seven of coins. Okay, seven of coins and the five. I really don't want to use a lot of cards. I'd rather just get intuitive messages, but I'm being led to do this, so I'm just going to do it. The five of coins and the seven, the seven of coins and the five of wands. You have someone that has made some investments in some bad relationships. And let's just face it, we all have. Okay, this person had to go through some things. The collective had to go, some, go through some things. Joseph had to go through some things. Okay, remember, we're all going to have to go through things. We got the Seven of Cups. Hmm. This person confused you or this person had some confusion about some things at some point. They're coming up as the Nine of Coins, the Page of Coins, all the money. Okay, yes, yes yes they went through some spiritual attacks they need to rest more in the month of june the eight of coins can you see all this money coming out for your person today your future person the person that god has for you or the person um that you're the person that he has for you you're the person that he god has for you and, and god has this person for you you know how that go okay both of you guys are coming up as single today single okay if they're not currently single, um, at some point, <laughs> they will be. I'm here to name Chris. Chris is ready. Mm. The Page of Wands. Okay, I got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress. Damn. He wants to take swift action, but he's in the background doing something. Or this is could be how he was towards you. You could know this person at some point. You've known them. Okay, there was some, there was some deception. There was some underhanded, sneaky shit going on in this person's life at some point. I'll just say that. But, but the guardian angels are showing up, okay, to protect him, to protect her. The seven of wands and a magician. There was a lot of magic done to this person or you, or there was some deception, some debauchery, all that shit. I spoke about Joseph going through those type of things. It's kind of like what the collective and their person has went through or has experienced. Yes, we got the five of cups and the king of cups. The king and the queen of cups is coming out. Both of you guys are matching each other today. The two of wands. There's people that's been trying to block this this union, this marriage by all means necessary. Yeah, we got the justice card, the five of coins, and the king of coins. Do you see all the money that's coming out with your person today? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm picking up on um, Elvis Presley. Okay, your person could be, you know, they could like rock and roll. Yeah. They could be an entertainer, a rock star, a musician okay yes they're substantially wealthy they have the capabilities the potential uh, they just affinity they just supposed to be and so are you yes we got the queen of swords this person he's like i don't want to piss her off this is not the type of man that wants to bring drama to his woman or he's learned some lessons about doing that shit he knows he can't do that with you or by the time he get to you he ain't gonna be like that because he know that ain't gonna work with you okay i'm hearing grown and sexy god has this person for you you know how i know there's god the sun card is god God said, I see him back there going through this. I see her back there going through that. Okay. God got this person waiting. God got this relationship currently on pause because there's some stuff that's going on behind the scenes and both partners got to be made, uh, kept safe. Okay. Both of these individuals are coming up as you and this man, you and this woman are both coming up as the high priestess and the temperance. This is a divine. Oof. You got an earth angel on your hands. They have an earth angel on their hands with you. Oh, a gifted, a gifted high priestess, a gifted high priest. Wow, you guys are matching each other. He's coming up as a king of coins. You're coming up as a queen of coins. He's coming up as a king of cups. You're coming up as a queen of cups. Okay. I'm picking up on um, humanitarians here. Humani humanitarians. I'm hearing the name Hannah. And I'm hearing her man is married. It's, it's kind of like the ancestors are saying, that's her man. And they're going to be married, baby. Or they're supposed to be. Okay? I feel like you give back, he give back, she give back. You guys both do good things in the world. You take care of your people and you take care of other people. Point, point, period. And you got people that um, are trying to destroy you. Partly because of this connection and just partly because God chose you. You know, the chosen ones go through the most. The chosen people go through the most. We got the full card. And the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Star card. Somebody is trying to block some important information from getting to the collective about this particular situation with this person. Once again, I told you they're trying to block the connection. They're trying to block you. They're trying to block them. They're trying to block this connection. And they're trying to do all that stuff to destroy a connection that's meant to be for you. You and this person are meant to be known in the world, seen by the world. Help you. you 
the collective is supposed to assist and um, aid people in the world. And so is the person that they're meant to be with. We got a full moon. I believe Sagittarius. Full moon in Sagittarius. June the 8th. June the 6th. Excuse me. June the 6th. Okay. June the 6th. Hmm. If you have any social media, this person could be communicating with you through a, fro a fake profile. This Somebody's not feeling well to their stomach, okay? Please take it easy. Drink you some ginger ale, eat some crackers, some soup, chicken noodle soup specifically, if you're not feeling well, okay? Yeah. This person is communicating with you through fake pages, fake profiles, or they are going to try to do that over the next few days. Okay, a few months, a few weeks, a few hours, nine hours perhaps. Wow, there's that drinking. I'm picking up on somebody maybe drinking a little too much. Don't drink and drive. The chariot, the nine of cups, that's somebody drinking and driving. That's somebody that's drinking and driving, specifically at night. Especially around this full moon, you need to be careful. You're going to get locked up. The eight of swords. You're going to get a DUI. You're going to get pulled over. There's the cops. Yep, the nine of cups. The Knight of Coins, that's the arresting officer. That's the officer. It could be two cops in one car show up to stop your vehicle. They could actually watch you drive by or they could see, they could be parked somewhere and they see you driving fast or erratically. They're, they're going to, um, what do they call that? Obtain you, arrest you. I don't know. I don't want to say arrest you, but they definitely want to do a field sobriety or something like that. This could also be one of your enemies. Collective, they slipping, they slipping. They slipping. Their slip is showing. They get pulled over, they get detained, they go to jail. They get held for questioning. Period. There's a lot of alcohol here. The Six of Cups, that's, that's drinking, okay, somebody? You could have an enemy get stopped, detained, or arrested in the month of June. That's the Ace of Swords truth. <laughs> they tried to stop a star or someone that has been chosen by God for a certain mission or certain missions here on the earth okay period yes three hours three days three weeks be on the, be on the lookout and watch out for people uh, commenting on your posts or watch out for people communicating with you online because there's some deception with that point blade period the collective is in her queen of coins king of coins energy their star is on the rise they are gifted shamans mediums uh earth angels star seeds galactic warriors that God has here in the world for certain missions. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have a special person that you're meant to be with. The connection is currently um, it's, moving the, it's moving in the way it's supposed to be. Things are going the way it's supposed to be, although we can't see it. It's just, it is what it is. It's moving the way it's supposed to be. There are some obstacles and challenges to say it mildly. To put it in a nice way. Related to a connection that you're meant to be with or, you know, you're meant to be a part of. You may you may be saying divinely destined. You know what? I just want to. I want someone new. And you know what? That's cool because I feel like the collective. We all want someone new, or the majority of us want. We want someone new. And even if this is someone new, they're going through some obstacles and challenges too. It's still your person. This is still the same energy. Okay. They're going through something too behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even if this is not the person that you originally thought it would be, this could still be someone new they're going through some obstacles and challenges or they have been at some point in their life just like you god is watching over you he's watching over your partnerships today he's watching over your alliances today he's watching over the things that matter to you today and he always will you could be discontented and bored today kind of just reflecting okay you definitely could be in your queen of swords don't fuck with me type of energy because of all the shit you've been through okay there's a mill <laughs> Whoever this male is that you're supposed to be with, baby, he don't he don't want that sword on his ass, okay? He just don't. Mm -hmm. You went through some financial hardships in your life. A lot of us have, okay? God is saying, hey, don't worry. Things are going to work out. Things are going to get better for your finances. The justice in the tower and the eight of wands, you definitely could have an enemy or two that go down in the month of June, July. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Drunk. They in jail drunk. They in jail high staggering okay it's it's like their slip is slipping all their skeletons are falling out their life is spiraling out of control and shit is just falling down all around them 
and it's just it's sad how this is going to transpire for that person or those people it's not sad well i mean we're, we're the collective we have a heart okay you know it's sad for us we don't like to see people fall but they like to see others fall but that's not us that's them i see 310 this could be a pisces Pisces represent the fish going in opposite directions. The fish represents the water. The water represents the drinking, the alcohol, the drugs. You see what I'm saying? It's all tying in together. Mm -hmm. We got judgment and the magician and the seven of wands. Archangel Michael is defending us and he's going to continue to defend us vehemently, collective. The six of wands, God says, I placed you on that throne. I got you in that position. I'm going to take you to that position. I'm going to give you that position. No one's going to take it from you. It's like God God may be letting them think that. You see, they're drinking, they're smoking, they're doing drugs. They're doing a lot of things and um, making themselves believe that something is actually going to turn out the way they want it to. And it's all illusions based upon their own egos. Okay, God is like, oh, uh, I got her there. I got him. I got, I'm taking him there. Okay, let these people think what they want. But the truth of the matter is they're going down. The Seven of Swords and the Empress, there's somebody... That could potentially want to have sex with you in the month of june empress okay yeah they look a little sneaky okay watch out for that please use protection and use condoms always the eight of coins and the four of swords it's like they want to come to your house they may show up in the middle of the night but watch out for that you work too hard you've come too far empress emperor unless you just want that that is here mm -hmm. we got the seven of coins and the seven of cups Seven seven. Yeah. Seven seven. This Gemini this is current this Gemini energy. Current Gemini. This is current energy here. We got the the, the pay okay, so I see a king of wands that wants to reach out to you potentially for sexually based reasons. And this person is gonna feel some type of way when they get rejected because inevitably a lot of empresses and emperors will reject that shit because they don't have much to offer and you're not gonna fall for that fucking bullshit, right? Because you're empress, right? You're emperor, right? You've been there, you've done that, you've seen that. Now, if you just want to fuck, hey, that, that is just here. Okay, if you just want to fuck, yeah, but I don't think the collective is going to take that bait. Mm-hmm. The nine of wands and the... <laughs> and the, the nine of wands and the hermit and the hierophant. There is a masculine that's watching out for a feminine empress, and he's protective. She's not going to let this person get close to you. There he goes. He's a hair front. This could be a spiritual guide. This could be Archangel Michael. This could be an ancestor. Okay, this could be somebody that watches you. You don't know they watch you and they pray for you. Okay, he's protective of you. Okay, there's a masculine that's protective over a feminine today. Oh, that's sweet. He could be a cop. The Ten of Swords, okay. He could be someone that's authoritative. Okay, this could be your actual person watching and protect, protecting. Okay, I hear something about paternity, paternity test coming in in the month of June. You know, that's gonna happen. This could be your actual person that you're, you're gonna end up with. Okay, he's watching over you in the spirit. He's like, uh uh, I'm not letting nobody come in. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, yeah, I, I feel like uh, he's working hard to keep people away, but you have free will, you can do what you want. Okay. But he's definitely back there doing something in terms of watching and uh, protecting you today. Collective. <laughs> Period. He's protective. This could just be his jealousy. You know, maybe not jealousy, but this this could just represent his protectiveness. Okay? He's protective of you. He wants you to be wise. Okay? Keep your legs closed. Okay? Or be discerning at the very least. Okay? Period. This person has Scorpio. You're, the person that you're meant to be with, they got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces significantly aspected in that chart period mm. they may do something wild okay somebody try to come too close they may show up unexpectedly that's here okay the lovers and the devil what the fuck the devil the lovers the death card <laughs> the lovers the death card and the devil wow <laughs> get too close to his baby if you want to you get too close to her baby if you want to he might pop up, okay? I also see, you know, the, the devil and the death card and the lovers. Uh, HIV, herpes. I spoke about someone wanting to see you in the month of June, potentially July, August, okay?
okay but i see june here okay be careful if you're having any kind of intercourse sexual activities casual flings dating the devil and the death <clears throat> lovers <laughs> The hangman, that's someone that has an STD, baby. Be careful here. That's why I feel like you that's why I feel like your person or this guy, this masculine, is very protective of you and he wants you to be discerning. Okay? Please use protection. Yes, there's Archangel Michael. This guy could be Archangel Michael. And he may not let anyone with this type of energy near you. He might I, I just don't feel like yeah, he's Archangel Michael's watching over you. I don't feel like Archangel Michael is going to let this person come near you, but that doesn't mean that there's not someone back there thinking that they can do it. Remember that. Okay. There's Michael, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords. That's Archangel Michael. He said, you don't cry over this situation. And this man is crying because they, there's somebody that's not clean in the energies. Okay, baby, be careful. The Ten of Coins, the Four of you're building your empire and you have someone that is building their empire and you put two pit you put two empires together and you got a dynasty okay yes mm -hmm. yes we got the ace of coins and the queen of wands mm -hmm. yeah this woman right here this this feminine knows how to take care of her man this masculine knows how to take care of his man okay god says hey make your plans and know that your plans will be fruitful because i'm looking out for you watch out for hidden deceptions and traps in the month of june and, and just throughout your life watch out for deception watch out for that shit because it looks like there's somebody in the background that may be trying to come in they want to sleep with you you're the queen of wands okay the queen of wands she's the most beautiful queen in the deck okay he's the most attractive male in the deck perhaps someone wants to impulsively rush in this month to sleep with you but they're not clean this could be intentionally trying to inflict you or you know maybe they don't know they got something but i'm pretty sure they they might this, this is giving me they know okay so please use protection and be discerning or just keep your legs closed or just keep it keep it in your pants there's a male guy that is watch, watching over a female okay a feminine energy and he's protective this this male guy could be archangel michael it could also be angels archangels guardian angels ascended masters this could also be your true love okay he's back there watching you okay she's watching you Okay, specifically a male watching over a feminine. He wants you to be discerning. Okay, he's watching over you. He's protective of you. And that's just that. Collective, we got some things coming in for us. And we got to be be ready to receive it. I'm definitely closing out this reading. It's kind of like right before a huge breakthrough or a big blessing come in. The devil tries to do something. Or he continuously tries to do things leading up to the blessing to sabotage you to stop you to destroy you or to block you this is part of it baby this is part of it mm -hmm. gotta watch out gotta watch out for those traps okay i've been speaking about it since march april about a male a male needs to use condoms he needs to protect himself females too but specifically a male i've been picking up on it i spoke about it taurus season i'm speaking about it again the devil, the death, and the lovers. <sighs> That's the one that has a package that you don't want. Okay? You don't want that package. The devil, the death, and the lovers could also indicate an uh, obsessive lover. Someone that could be jade, jaded, jealous, bitter, vengeful, toxic, malicious, psychopathic, narcissistic, evil. Willing to destroy anyone getting in the way of their love. That is there. The devil, the death, and um, the lovers could also indicate a very sexual person that is very good in bed. They know what they're doing. But they could be cheaters. Okay, someone that's not faithful. Or someone that has a trail of people that still want them that could be in the background causing trouble because of them. Be careful, collective. 5858812. God has blessings coming in for us. We're so close. I see the stop sign. S T O P. Yeah. Somebody's going to be stopped by the cops in the month of June, July, August. Field sobriety test. They're going to be held for questioning. The stop sign could also represent be careful. Somebody could have some ill intentions 
that they yeah I'm, I'm i'm getting two scenarios okay you know how you meet people you just you're having a good time with them you know what i'm saying you go out for drinks you lower your inhibitions you haven't dated in a while you have a high interest in them and you think hey it's cool it's cool it's cool you'll be okay and you let your guard down boom you see that energy is here also the energies of someone willfully intentionally wanting to bring harm to you is here remember there's a blessing there's blessings i'm hearing where's the blade that's prison talk okay that's prison talk prison talk somebody's gonna go down you got some enemies that are just simply gonna go to jail for what they've done you've been hearing readers talk about it i guess they these karmics they watch us and listen to us so much it's like they just hear it every day they just they just i guess they just think we're just talking but the energy is here we're so close you got to watch out the closer we get okay congratulations on the success co collective wow i'm saying 847 847 closing off the message there's that eight 847 mm -hmm. the eight and the four will always tell you that money is coming and it's coming in expeditiously 847 all representing money seven represents money eight represents money four represents money the four represents imminent money the eight represents the the the, month, the power that comes behind having the money the seven represents the spiritual nature of money you must respect it okay the message is not it's all it's, it's, the, the message is all tying in together baby please um take care of yourself with this abundance that you have so rightfully earned that was already going to be yours anyway baby girl baby boy God is showing me 58 again. Oh, I'm spooked. <sighs> he showed me 46, 46, 46. In my first video, he's showing me 58, 58, 58. Closing out the message. There's changes happening to the financial sector of the collective today. Opening up the month of June. June the 1st. If you have been struggling financially, that shit is going to be over soon. And when I say God is showing me five eight again. I'm getting spooked. You're gonna you're gonna be going from rags to riches. You're gonna be going from rags to riches. Or you're gonna be more celebrated, more appreciated. Your gifts are gonna be coming in. More things are just gonna be coming in. Okay. More just just expect changes to your financial situation. Your overall um, life experience is gonna get better because your money is gonna get better. Making things better on the other end. Okay, collective. Wow. Something significant could have happened at the age of 20 years old. 2020, the year 20, the year 2020. I'm here near the year 2020 and the year 2022. Three years, something could have been coming in for you. You've been building on something for three years, perhaps. Or it's just taking a little bit longer to get. Or it's... <sighs> you know how that go. Delayed, but not denied. Okay? So take the money, take the opportunity, take the breakthroughs, take the blessings, and make sure that you give back and assist god's people baby do the right thing with the money that god gives you the abundance the stability take care of your family but take care of others too guys if you want to if you want to book me i'm available god bless you yeah some of you guys are going to be going to the beach this weekend be safe drink responsibly no drinking and driving watch out watch out that's all i can say <laughs>